To begin with, we're going to remove the battery from the battery compartment. That way it doesn't damage your equipment and you reduce the risk of any electrical shock taking place. Now, with that shut, we're going to turn this over. There's a compartment right here that has four screws. Now what we're going to do is remove those four screws and remove that plate out of the way and I'll show you how it looks next. Now, with the cover removed, you will see that there is an extra slot where that the RAM can be installed. We're going to do that now. As you can see, there is a retainer pin here and a retainer pin here. What you're going to do is remove those to the side and your RAM will pop up. Now, the RAM can only go in one way and it can only come out one way. So what we're going to do is very carefully remove that now and install our new component of RAM. You will grab your RAM by the side very carefully, removing it out. Now you can see that the pins on it, how they are set up. Now that you've removed your RAM, you can see that there's a groove right here. Now what you want to do is match up the new stick of RAM that you're going to put in. Or if there's not a stick of RAM in your CF29 at all, you're going to want to make sure and line that up with your grooves as accordingly. Now this is a one gig stick of RAM that we're replacing. So now we're going to put it into place. And now we'll remove this one out of the way and you can put that into storage. You never know when you might need to have a stick of RAM in case of emergency. So we'll lay that to the side. Now I'll replace the cover back on this computer and we'll turn it on and check and make sure that the system recognizes it. Now that the screws have been replaced, we'll insert our battery and lock it back into place. And we'll open up our tough book and power it on and make sure that our system recognizes it. Now once you've installed the RAM into your device to make sure that it works, you can go to My Computer and go down and click Properties. This will bring up a screen and it will show you if you've successfully completed this task or not. I have because I now have 1.24 gigabytes of RAM where I only had originally less than a gig. So I've been able to give myself a half a gig of RAM more to help run this device. So guys, I hope that's a help to you, those of you that's updating an older CF29 tough book to use for prepping. And until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.